guys, Pete Normandia here, aka the Film Boss. I'm here with my brand new cage from Wooden Camera on my GH5, and I'm going to tell you what I love and what I don't like about this cage and why I'm keeping it, and I can't wait to utilize it in the field. So, first things first, just a couple of notes. Um, this right here, this little a maroon thing you see sticking off here, this is a Cinelock. This does not come with a cage, it's just something I've added on, and I can show you why a little bit later on. But pretty much, I wanted to go over a couple of things about this cage. This cage from Wooden Camera is a DSLR cage. So what that means is it's not made directly for the GH5. It's made, there's three sizes. This is the small one, and these are made for camera-sized mirrorless cameras, um, the Sony A-Series and stuff like that. So because of that, this particular top part right here tends to block the dial that you would switch. Now this doesn't really affect me because most of the time I'm in creative movie mode, but I do set up some of my settings to slow motion in C1 and C2, and now I really can't tell where I'm at except for guessing uh, or looking at the LCD screen. So the second thing I don't like about this cage is if you're trying to use one of these, these clip-on adapters, even though this comes with a clip-on adapter, this particular one does not screw in. The one that comes with the GH5, this particular one will not screw in if you leave on this top piece. This top piece though is just a clip, which does come off, and then you're just left with this, which again will give you, offer you some protection, but to me is almost useless without it. This particular cage comes with a piece that you can utilize to, uh, to wrap the cord. I have not gotten it to work though with a full size HDMI because it seems like the cord and where you would want it to be is a little bit too thick for that particular part being a full size HDMI now. So again, unless you're using it for one of the other jacks, I would say that it doesn't work. But again, not a deal breaker for me. The first thing, top three things that I love about this cage, number one is the removable handle. Not only is the handle easily removable in about two seconds as you could just see, uh, and very sturdy as soon as you lock it on, but also I can unscrew this handle right here and screw it onto the other side so that I can use anything in my hot shoot mount adapter like the XLR audio box, like um, a screen, anything along those lines. If you're using your hot shoe adapter, you can still utilize this top handle, which is phenomenal. Very good versatility. Also easy to kind of just put it in out of the way for quick uh, use also if you wanted it that way. I uh, shoot a lot of events, you know, Sweet 16s, weddings, and so forth and so on. And one of the things you want to be able to do is be very versatile. So what I always had to do was have at least two cameras. That's why I had two GH4s, um, or I had a GH4 and a GH3 before that, because I always needed to have two cameras, one that's on some sort of stabilized, you know, either a gimbal or a glide cam, and then another one that's ready to just grab uh, for the free shots, but of the handheld shots. But I don't need that anymore because of this cage. Let me tell you why. First setup, handheld, nice and easy. I put on a little light here, I'm good to go. I have a, another hot shoe adapter up top here. If I want to put a microphone or anything of that nature, I could put right there, and pretty much I am good to go, man. Right here, moving around with my cage, ready to shoot. Now, let's say it calls for something else. Boom, I can take the easily remove with my Cinelock, I can remove that light. I grab over and I have my monopod. Let's say I'm doing, need a shot, that stable shot, different lens. Because of the Manfrotto plate that's on this thing, it works with all Manfrotto heads or all the ones that I've tried, and I have about four of them. Um, so, yeah, goes right onto my monopod. Very easy to use. Take it off the monopod, and let's move it up here. I got my glide cam with me. Devin Graham signature glide cam. Pop on my cable, and boom, I'm good to go. Nice and easy, all around. And as long as this thing was um, was balanced beforehand, all I need to do is slide the plate on at the distance that I would be using it at. But what I normally shoot with, with my GH5 with a lot of events, is my favorite, my Helix Junior Gimbal, which for smaller cameras like, the cameras like this, I think this gimbal offers a wide range of versatility that some of the other ones do not. Um, easy to pick up and put down, easy to go to suitcase mode. I can still adjust focus while I'm using it, which is, as a single operator, that's extremely huge. But not getting into the gimbal, what I wanted to show you here is right here, if you could see this, there is a nice quick release that comes with the camera. This I mean, comes with the cage. And this quick release, I just screwed right onto my plate for the Helix Junior, and then I removed the safety screw at the top. 
Uh, reason being is I was, you know, it has a safety screw, so you can only insert from one direction, and it will catch it if it's, it's a safety, so it will catch it if it's going to slide out. However, I wanted to be able to bring it in from the top, so I removed the safety screw. Simple, just with an Allen key, just remove the thing. It's not hard at all. I do have to be careful now, though, to make sure my camera's locked in because there will be no release if it's not. It will just fall right on the floor. However, nice and simple, I slide this plate in. I take this handle off. I take off my light, which goes on the handle when I'm on my gimbal. And then I also have my small HD 501 monitor that I use at all times when I'm on my gimbal. So I slide this in, and I'm doing this all on camera with you to show you just how easy this has made my life. Good to go here. The gimbal powers the monitor as well. So all I have to do now, put this, make sure this is good. Cool. I just put this down on the ground because you need a flat base for the Helix Junior to power on. I power my camera on, remove my lens cap, and boom, and we are good to go. I can put on my monitor, and here we go. Nice and easy. And again, because of that quick release, takes me about two minutes to get back to this setup from the other one, which means using it for live events is definitely possible. You see my setup now. And boom. And again, say I'm done shooting real quick. I turn the gimbal off. I undo the undo the cable. Undo my light. Oh. Kind of difficult to do with one hand, but hey, let's make it fancy. Only the best for you guys. Boom. And we take the HDMI plug off, put down my monitor, and I'm back in handheld mode. Put down my gimbal, grab my handle, Boom. I'm ready to rock. Just like that. That's how quick and easy it is. And that's the main reason why. This little quick release thing here, this little plate, this Manfrotto plate, means I can go between my monopod, my tripod, my slider, my gimbal, and my glide cam, all five of them, without ever having to put a plate on. That's incredible. So for me, that was the main reason why I thought this was one of the best cages to get. Very happy with it when I got it. Again, the only disappointment, if you can even call it that, was just finding out that the top dial was covered but again it's to be expected because this was not made directly for the GH5 this was made for small level DSLRs which again also adds to its versatility because it could fit more than one cage if you wind up changing cameras part of the problem when I got the GH4 uh, and I had two cages for my GH4 and GH3 series and neither one of them fit the GH5 because the size changed however this one does present that I could actually put this on my GH4 if I wanted to as well uh, which gives it a little bit more versatility so that's the great thing about this cage. That's why I'm rocking the wooden camera cage. Again, love to hear what gear you're using on your GH5, especially cages. There were a bunch of other ones, the Crozier, the Small Rig, the 8-SIN cage. I checked out all those before I wound up settling on the wooden camera. So I'd love to hear any reviews or comments about those as well. Other than that, if you like these videos, definitely hit that subscribe button, and I will see you soon.